All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where unfortunately I've kind of got a <laughs> short amount of time to record today. You know, holidays, family, all that sort of stuff. So we're just gonna jump into the career mode save. As I, I've, uh, I've been wanting to play around. Well, I actually have been playing around a bit more with some of the fun new stuff in this update. And I have been working on a design for a mobile laboratory. Now, if you remember, long ago, we had the mobile mooner truck lab that we sent up to the moon. I think we put it on Mimis. I actually also think we put one on Duna. I'm not 100% sure on that one, though. I vaguely remember it, but I could be wrong. Yeah, yes, actually, we did. We did, because it had the tiny little rovers on it. And yeah, I tested them on Duna, where they had more gravity for them to get some more traction. Ah, good times, good times. But yes, I wanted to actually put down a mobile laboratory. So, what I'm doing just today is a test. I mean, this thing ain't gonna make it anywhere off of Kerbin. But so, I just wanted to test out this wonderful new mobile processing lab along with the Coppola module, some scientific equipment, some solar panels for power, and of course, plenty of lights, and an interesting design here. Now, one mistake I made on that old Mooner truck that I had sent up was I forgot to put a ladder on it, and it didn't really matter for when we were on the moon because, well, you could just use the jetpack, but on Duna, it was an issue. I actually stranded uh, at least one Kerbal on Duna doing that mission. That, um, yeah, that didn't go so well for him. <laughs> so what I've had uh, done on this one is add a ladder onto here, and then if we zoom in, just a small little ladder connection, because one of the problems with ladders is once they get to the top, they don't go over the ledge, they just drop. So I added a little bit more of a ladder here so that he could get onto an angle and then hopefully, hopefully, walk up the rest. I haven't tested this thing in the slightest. <laughs> Not one singular bit. So I've just built it in here. And actually, you know what? Let's... I'm actually going to have this as the Mark II. And then let's open, well, no, actually, let's just use it as this one. Whoop, didn't mean to do that, but this is what we're gonna do. I actually just wanna drive it on the ground real quick, cause I haven't, I haven't touched this thing outside of the VAB. And so I would like to see how well it functions. Now, one of the things I have done on this is I have used these modifiers to turn off the motors for flight, because that uses up power that I don't want to be used. But since we are just going to take this thing out for a little roll, let's turn on the back wheels. Now, I'm not going to turn on the front wheels because, unfortunately, let's actually look at it here. On the actual mass is 2.5 on the processing module. And the cupola, or cupola, I, I can never say that one right, is 4.54. So even though this thing is much larger in terms of, you know, cubic meters or whatever you want to measure it by. Uh, this module here in the front is way, way heavier. So I just want power on the back, not on the front, because if we have those wheels going, it might tip this baby forward. And if that happens, we are not going to be able to move it. <laughs> Which, yeah, they, re oh, they really need to readjust the weight of this module. It is one of the heaviest modules, and even though it's a single person module. I, I know it's large and it's supposed to be, you know, the whole sort of skybox thing for people to look out of, but still it's freaking heavy as anything. I mean, the lander can's 2.66, the command pod, which carries three, is 4.12. And this thing, for one person, is 4.54. It, it, it annoys me so much that this Coppola module's mass is just so freaking massive. But oh well, oh well, let's just launch this thing. Take it for a little stroll. And yes, hopefully so we don't tip. 
Like I said, I just turned on the back wheels on the modifier. Front wheels should be off. They are, excellent. And yeah, you can already see with how heavy that front bit is that it's just, oh, it's tipping down. Jebediah, activate the lights. <laughs> oh, I love that. We've got three headlights on the front that just illuminate forever. And then some floodlights on the side, so you know, any research you are doing on whatever stellar body you happen to be on can be completed. And, you know, not in the dark, because that, that would be a good thing. All right, let's take it slow down this ramp. It's, uh, I've lost many a rover tests due to that ramp right there, going a bit too fast and reaching the end and just tipping right on over. It seems to be doing quite well so far. I definitely like having just the back wheels on. Helps keep this thing a bit more stable and... Well, you've all seen multiples of my rovers that have just tipped end over end when I try to stop. But yeah, just having the back wheels on, it really does help. It was actually, oh god, I don't remember who it was, but it was actually a few viewers who recommended that I turn off the front wheels power, and that definitely does make a difference. So thank you to all of you who did suggest that. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember who you were, and just like I said, there were a few. But yeah, it seems like a cool little design here. I'm liking this sort of tin can. Let's actually get in the uh, IVA. See what Jeb sees here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that. That is, that is a good view. It's a very good view. Now let's exit back out. Bring this baby to a stop, and I want to test my ladder system here. It's like I said. Whoop. Okay. Okay. That worked. That worked. Like I said, I've never really done this before. I tend to forget ladders. Well, I tend to forget a lot of things, honestly. But ladders is always a big one. So, just for safety's sake, let's crawl down this rooftop ladder with Jebediah, and then let go. Now over here, come on, grab, grab, there we are. Ooh, we kind of moved that solar panel there. That could be a worry. Perhaps I should take that solar panel off. But he did get off of the ladder, so that is good. We let go. He can run around. Let's... Uh, take a surface sample. I get absolutely no science from it, but nonetheless, we have a surface sample. Let's go back. Grab. Very good. We got on the angled ladder. This was the main, main worry of mine. Now, let's see up at the top. Okay, he's falling. Oh, don't lean off. Yes, it worked. Okay, that makes me happy. It's just enough angle to keep him on. He kind of staggers a bit, but he's good. He's good. Now, let's grab... And can we just, yes, yeah, store that one experiment. There we go, all items stored. Now that that experiment is stored, we can just go right back up to the cupola and continue driving. And if we had this thing all properly crewed, we could then review the data and, you know, do, I guess, lab stuffs. Always good, always good. We could process it, of course, so that we can actually get some science out of it. But now we'll just keep the data for now, since we have no one in that lab section. And yeah, that's kind of my idea for this thing. You, you just drive from one location to another, collecting samples between biomes. I did turn that on. Oh, there we go. All right. Was a little worried there for a second. Thought that the, uh, <laughs> the wheels were stuck. But yeah, definitely. Whoa, okay, okay. Don't take sharp turns. Don't take sharp turns. Oh, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with how this thing functions as a rover. Did... No, no, those are still off. Just feels... finicky on the turning. Hmm. I may have to investigate that a bit more. But, yeah, overall, I'm very pleased with how it handles. We can get in and out of the rover and onto the surface for taking samples, store them in the processing lab, and, of course, store you know, process, or process them, rather, to actually gain the science. So let's revert flight back to the vehicle assembly building. And let's go and grab the original one with that rocket still attached. And <laughs> let's test the parachutes. Now, I am, I am worried about this one. I honestly am, because of how heavy the Coppola module is. 
even though I've put the parachutes on the side, I'm worried that this thing is just going to basically flop down like a lawn dart because of how heavy the front is. That's my worry. Oh, we're into the ground now. Let's not be in the ground. There we go. I'm hoping we'll be fine, though, with the locations of the parachute, but I do... I do worry about that. I I wanted to even out the weight a bit by putting one of the large batteries on the back, but I haven't unlocked those yet in career. So I ah, there really wasn't anything I could add to the back for more weight. I guess we could, you know, chuck a habitation module on the back of it, but even then, that's, well, it, that is 2.5 mass, but then that might be a bit too much weight for these wheels. We'd be, you know, bottoming out. Oh, though, you know, looking at the side of this thing, plus habitation modules, you could make some very nice looking space stations with this whole setup. I like it. But, uh, yeah, let's just launch this baby for now and test the parachutes. Oh, yeah, I'm really worried about this one. It's just, uh, I have a very bad feeling about it. Like, like I said, I, I love the look of the cupola module. But I hate how heavy the darn thing is, and... Ooh... That looks wonky. Why does that look like it's not a proper seal? Yeah, Yeah, that worries me. That worries me a lot. Let's try and angle ourselves away from the space center. Oh, God, the, the way to the front. We're... Yep, we're losing control. And we've lost control. Okay, so, plan B. Shut off the engines. <laughs> Lose them. <laughs> and let's angle ourselves up a bit. You know what? That's fine right there. And open the parachutes that just start slowing us down. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to angle up. See if, if it does flip around like a lawn dart. God, I'm really hoping it doesn't, but you never know. We're almost to the 500 meter mark. Ow, oh, yep. There it went. Right down. Ah, God, that really does annoy me. And I, this thing does not have the torque to angle itself back sideways or, you know, parallel with the ground. So I, you know, that's, that's as much as I can move right there is just that much of an angle, which is very disappointing. So when we hit the ground, we're going to be just embedded in the ground. I think I, uh, with how little torque this has. I mean, maybe if I add an SAS to the back of this thing, it, I would have the torque to compensate. But, yeah, right now with this design, I think we are literally just going to be a very large, expensive, mobile processing lab lawn dart. Because I don't think I'll be able to roll this thing back onto its side. Well, let's find out. And... Uh, no, I cannot move this thing at all. Turn off the SAS, see if maybe... Nope, this thing is stuck. Oh no, poor Jebediah. <laughs> He's just stuck in here now and longing for the days of being back on the moon. But yeah, yeah, this is... I may need to go back to the drawing board for this. <laughs> yeah, I think adding an SAS or an advanced SAS rather will fix the problem. Because then at least it'll give us enough torque. So if we do land like this, we can roll ourselves over. Uh, but yeah, at the moment, we're a lawn dart. A very, very expensive lawn dart. Uh, yeah, let's get him out on EVA. <laughs> he's just... Oh, he's hanging upside down. He's holding on to that ladder, though. Good good man. Good man, Jebediah. Oh, oh on to the light. Ow. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, that's... That's going to be it for this episode. I, like I said, not not a huge amount of time for doing something today because of, you know, holidays and all of that. Which, I hope you all did have, uh, you know, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Whatever, whatever you want to say and whatever holiday you do celebrate. Uh, but yeah, and I thank you for watching this kind of a failed attempt at making a new mobile laboratory. Uh, but I've got some good ideas. I'll have to go back to the drawing board, fix this a bit, and come back again to another episode, which I hope you all come back for. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.